Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's Round say. two, let's begin. Once I release them, these two balloons will race across the hallway. Okay. Because the blue balloon is bigger, it will propel itself faster. No, that's not the case. All else being equal, the small balloon is actually going to go faster because it's going to be at a higher pressure. It's the same reason why it's harder to start blowing up a balloon, but once it gets going, it gets easier to blow it up. It's a bit like saying the reactor with more fuel produces more power. Not the case. Bigger's not always better. And beat the smaller red balloon to the other side. No. I hot glued this roll of string to two glass cans. If I pull the string this way and at this angle, the object will roll to the left. When the cold... Sure, we're talking rolling motion combined with torque. No different than shifting control rods on a cable, though you do it a lot more controlled than that. Water is on top and I remove the plastic divider. The colors will mix almost instantly and make a single color. When the hot yeah. water is on top though, they won't mix very well and you will still see two distinct colors. So that's a density driven reality check for a thermally stratified system. So hot on top, it's already stable because the cold water is denser and would sink. It's kind of like watching natural circulation in a passive nuclear safety system. Just kick it back and watch. You've seen all three videos now. Pause to a predict which one you think is wrong. Although it wasn't pretty, you can clearly see yeah. that the colors mixed when the cold water was on top. Natural circulation isn't always pretty. But didn't when the hot water was on top. Even minutes after the demo, you can clearly see the difference in colors. This device does roll to the left when I pull at this angle. Sure. That means this one was wrong. Even with a substantial head start, oh, yeah. the smaller it balloon still catches up. 